what's going on ladies and gentlemen this is DJ Thunder with S4NR.com station for the nation's radio you are watching another video of Fallout 4 so without being said let's get started and let's have some fun here we go well I uh, haven't done anything with uh, going into the Institute yet and I went back to see Virgil and I went to kill this uh, Corver or get this chip out of this synthetic head and unfortunately I didn't record that but it was a pretty good fight and it probably would have taken two to three more videos to get the whole thing because I was in a huge building and eventually I had to make it to the top floor and uh, which is not very tall but it seemed like it was a tall floor on the inside though but I've got Paladin Dance with me and I've been kind of going around and I went to do the castle thing pre clean the quote unquote castle for Percy and I had to fight a giant Mirelurk which I wish I would have recorded that because that was a crazy battle and I didn't have much ammo excuse me drinking a soda here just got home from my work but I wanted to record and uh, see uh, what we can do next I gotta go talk to Proctor Ingram and uh, I guess we'll go clear out the uh, outpost Zymanja here in a bit. But uh, I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do next on my perks. I'm only level 35. I want to build up my commando, my gunslinger ability perk, and my rifleman. And, of course, awareness. There's only just one thing? Huh. Just one, uh, one in that. Interesting. And I definitely want to get this grounder up. Maybe do some in that as well. Um as I get higher in level anyway but yeah let's see here uh, let's go do the outpost of Zima Ja huh? 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 I need to get more 44 ammo for my Kellogg pistol <clears throat> Also, I've been running into a weird glitch. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing it. Like Codsworth here. Mr. Bolton, perhaps now you can spare a moment. I've already had this conversation with him numerous of times. Of course, I'm all yours. Excellent. I couldn't let it go unnoticed that you really put forth some effort into changing. Even more so, I want to apologize for doubting you in the first place. Thanks, Codsworth. That means a lot coming from you. <laughs> Had I not been made of metal, I'd be blushing, sir. <laughs> I just thought you should know. It's good to have you back, sir. Hey, Codsworth. May I accompany you, sir? Oh. Not now, Codsworth. I see, sir. Uh, another time, then. Okay. Well, I do. <laughs> I was having that glitch, I swear. Got me a big old generator running in my uh, place. I plan on this is kind of a work in progress on my home. I'm kind of thinking of redoing it, making it look more like a hotel. But uh, I've got some beds in here, 
And I'm just not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. I've been trying to concentrating on the game. I'm not much of a decorator. One day I'll uh, twerk, tweak with it. I've been trying to... Uh, Slowly uh, build up my uh, my place here. I think I might give them a shelter out here eventually. Uh, let's see. Stores, trainer, armor. There we go. How much money you got now? Not enough. Thank you for watching again, ladies and gentlemen. For those who watch it, please give me a like. If you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Now, I'm not considered one um, a big YouTuber like uh, Markiplier or PewDiePie or Rad Brad, but I do like their videos. And uh, right now, I don't get paid to do uh, these videos. I just do them at my spare time and free time, and uh, try to do the editing when I can on on my spare time. Let's see here. I was really listening to some podcasts on uh, about Fallout Four on uh, YouTube today. You're talking about the new survival mode that they're going to revamp the uh, survival mode for for the DLC to add in like diseases and such and uh, other things to make it more trying to survive out here in the wasteland. I need to get some more ammo. Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. Yeah. I'm just trying to watch out for that crazy deer behind us. Whoa.
I like this game a whole lot. I plan on going through it a few more times. I wish I could kind of respect my character, take away some of the the perks. Because by accident, I put one into blacksmith, which is for melee weapons, and I'm not much of a melee. And I did that early in the game. Great, right when I was taking a drink of a, a Coke. Oh my god. I'm sure there's lots of things I haven't found in the wasteland. Like I've heard that there's a giant mole rat, a queen or or monster king mole rat or something. I'm not sure exactly where that thing is located. Not that I want to go and fight it right now because I don't have very much ammo. And I've got to uh, find more ammo. I plan on buying this game, as I said before, on PC. I think I'll check it out today on the internet at Walmart. Right now, it's uh, fifty dollars at Walmart for PC, which is a lot cheaper than other uh, other websites like Amazon. They want to charge you like sixty to sixty-five dollars for the game. I'm like, geez. That's true. Because I'd like to walk around more in the power armor suit. I think when I, uh... <laughs> if I play it on PC, I'm going to cheat a little bit and give myself, like, 99... Or a great, like, 500 fusion cores to... So I don't have to worry about it for a long time. Oh, I hate these things. Got bug guts all over me. Let me turn my phone down. You gotta think, in reality, if something that big stung you with a with a needle nose that long, it'd freaking kill you the first time it did attack you. If it managed to land on you and suck that thing in you, you'd be dead. A person could not survive because it could stab right through some vital organs. You better be quick on just killing that thing before he even gets even touches you. All right.
This guy's in a power armor suit. Holy... What the hell? Oh my goodness. He must have a fat man. Holy cow. Great. I'm gonna run all the way back there again. I'm probably gonna edit this travel out or you guys don't have to watch me run all the way back up here again. Alright. Now let's try this again, guys. I'm gonna sneak. Of course, it's kind of hard to sneak when you have a two-ton soldier behind you wearing power armor suit. It's like you're not helping, Dance. Even though you're crouched, your suit thudding around is giving away our position. Yeah, he's got a freaking fat man. Oh my god! Alright. <laughs> okay. Time to take a different approach. Freaking fat man. We'll try to get him to attack the guy in the fat man suit. No, On him. Some grenades. Here they are. Didn't have Awesome.
Well, that sucks. I can't get the uh, fusion core out of this. Great. Thanks a lot, Raider guy. I'm gonna sell. Hey, need something? Wait there. Roger. Come on, holding position. Do 5% more damage at night. Awesome. Got a little generator already running over here. Pretty cool. Got a little setup going on over here. Great, I gotta build. All right, let's go back and talk to Percy real quick. Hopefully sell my junk that I've collected. Those guys must be in the Institute. I haven't went in there yet. Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over there. 
Better go see what's going on. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. See what you have. Great. Hey. 7 p.m. here at Radio Freedom. This message is for the general if you're listening. We have a situation at the castle that we could use your help with. Nothing serious, just. Hey, you can't do that! Listen up, General. Get your hiney over to the castle, pronto. This is Ronnie Shaw. You never heard of me, but you will want to talk to me. All right, don't get your panties in a pond. <laughs>